Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of mprugs.com. My name is Mike. I'm the moderator in a series of videos that is all about handmade carpets from around the world. I welcome you to our channel and I hope you and your family are doing well. In today's episode, and this is something that I have been wanting to do for a long time, I'm going to be answering many of your questions in, in regards to old Persian rugs and the types of Persian rugs that are oftentimes featured in very large websites as well as on online um, auction house websites where people are falling into the trap of buying rugs that they think are worth a lot of money but actually turn out to be, well, not the case. I have for you in this video three carpets that were all sold as antique Persian rugs. They're all basically the same type of material, very similar. All three rugs were sold as antique Persian rugs. What is the difference between the three pieces? One of them would be selling for about $500 on my website. The other two are priced, I would be selling them for about $5,000. But I want you to take a look at the three rugs. These are three, it's about the same size, all three of them antique. And what I mean by antique is that they were sold as antique rugs. Antique in reality means one of these rugs is about 40 years old, one is about 80 years old, and one is about 100 years old. But when they were sold, they were sold as antique rugs. So, if we are into Persian rugs and you are wondering, and this is something that I get a lot of questions about, how can you as a buyer tell the difference? I'm going to give you a few pointers in this video. And this is again, this is something that I get a lot of questions about from my viewers. Um, it is something that I'm passionate about. It is also one of the reasons that I tend to spend more time featuring new rugs and newer designs because unless you are very knowledgeable about Persian rugs, I need, uh, I'm, it is a huge warning. Unless you know the seller, unless you know who you're dealing with, the carpet dealer, whether it's an online seller, you got to feel really comfortable because I can tell you right now, 99% of you could look at these three rugs. We have an Isfahan, we have a Gom, and we have a Tabriz. All three of them are made with fine cork wool. All three of them were made to look old. The difference is one is a grandpa, one is a father, and one is a son. So you basically have three generations, three rugs. And I did, like I said, I, can, I don't know how else to explain it to you other than to say, look, they were sold as antique, as I mentioned earlier. The difference is, and um, I hope you have had now a few moments to look at this video. Can you tell me I want you to tell me which one you think is the oldest. Take a look at the three rugs. Which is the oldest? The answer is the gom. The gom that you see in the middle, this is the oldest. The, this one, about 100 years old. Really nice piece. Next one is the Tabriz right here. The Tabriz about 80 years old, which is made and then sold as an antique rug, even though it's not the Isfahan. 
right here. This Isfahan is a lot younger than I am. I was built in 68. This one, well, 1980, 1985. And so you have about 40-year-old, 80-year-old, and I'm standing in front of a 100-year-old. But unless you are knowledgeable, you would not know that this Isfahan is nowhere near as old as the other two pieces. Like I said, you got about a rug that I'm guesstimating. I would sell, <coughs> I'm sorry, um, on the wholesale level, this is about $500. I'm sorry, I, th I think earlier I was saying um, on the retail, that's not correct. Um, wholesale level, you're looking at about $500. Well, these two pieces right here, the Gom and the Tabriz, put a zero behind it. That's the difference. All three of them have the same type of wool. What is the difference between a beautiful Isfahan? What is the difference between, how is that different than, for example, the Gom rug? How is that different than the Tabriz? That is something that most of you don't know. And I've been getting a lot of questions and I love answering them. But here's what I want you all to take away from this. When it comes to pre-owned Persian rugs and somebody sells them to you, these are, this is tips. Number one, um, if someone sells you something that is pre-owned and then they say, well, it's an antique. And this is something that a lot of people will do. They say, oh yeah, the rug is worth about, um, you know, the rug is, let's say, worth $5,000. This is a beautiful, well-maintained, just an amazing Isfahan right here. As you can see by the pictures, the Isfahan is just an amazing, the condition Look at it. It's a hundred years old, but the people who clearly kept it, and it was in such an amazing condition. It was a showpiece, and you can see the detailed workmanship. This is all pure vegetable dye. Well, everything that I have just told you about the Isfahan, it was all a bunch of BS. It was garbage. It was lies. It was fraud. This Isfahan is not made with pure vegetable dyes like most of the Persian rugs that are starting from about the 1970s. It is made with a mix of commercial and vegetable dyes. This Isfahan was made and then washed and then treated to look like an old piece but it's not. But it is being, it was sold as one. And the buyer who bought it, he bought it from a popular auction house. He, it came with papers from the dealer showing that this is an antique and all that stuff. He then went and got it appraised. And the appraiser came back and said, wait a minute, we can tell by looking at the fringes. Well, the fringes are not a hundred years old. What in God's name made you thought that this thing, and you know, there's a bunch of other stuff, and it's a fine rug. It's a very, it's a beautiful rug. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with the Isfahan, but it's not a hundred years old. We can just look at the fringes and say that, okay, this is way too new. If you look at, for example, and actually, if you look at the example of the three rugs right here, uh, and I want to put the fringes, and you can see by looking at the fringes, do you notice how the Isfahan rug, which is at the top, how the fringes are really well intact, how they are white, how they're clean and all that? Well, that's not an old antique rug. The fringes would either have to be replaced or if they are the original authentic fringes, 
after 80 to 100 years, those fringes wouldn't last. They would be just like human hair. You cannot tell me that a man who is 100 years old or even a woman, look at a woman that's 100 years old and compare her hair, touch her hair and compare it to a 20-year-old or even 40-year-old. This is not uh, difficult. This is not rocket science. But this is something that so many of you are emailing me about and you're falling into the trap. Please, if you are buying a pre-owned rug and if there is, um, if, there, if you are buying an old rug and they are advertising it, they're making a big deal about it being an antique. Look at the pic look at the fringes. That's a telltale sign. Also, look on the side of the rug. Antique rugs either have the edges replaced or because of the wear and tear along the sides, even when they're not replaced, you will notice discoloring. You will notice that there is something that is odd. If you, um, and like I said, I'm gonna, when, and I always do this when I get behind the camera and zoom in, but in this case, I actually think it's best if I not do that and just um, talk and show you with the pictures. The edges of the rugs, if they are really nicely done, it's probably not antique. I would expect them to be discolored. I would expect them to be uh, damaged. And you can tell, for example, in the gom rug here, when I look along the edges, that, yeah, this is a rug that is um, where the edge it's not perfectly the same color and everything. So I know chances are it was not replaced, but it's aged. And then the other thing I oftentimes do is I look at the obvious fringes. And you can tell in this case right here, this rug was not necessarily restored, but what happened is between the, um, if you look, if, if I look at the Gom and the Isfahan, um, if I look at the fringes, if this was a hundred year old rug, the fringes would have worn off by now. And they would have loosened up the bottom, the kelim, and they would have then started the knots there. And this is what they did in the Gom rug. You can see it in the pictures. Again, looking at the pictures of the fringes, you can see how the uh, Isfahan, that is supposedly antique, has really nice new fringes. So you can tell that's one of the signs. But um, the other thing I want you to walk away with this from this video is that if you are buying, an un and, and if they are advertising it as an antique, please look at where you are buying it from. If you're buying it online, especially, we have, there are a multitude of online auction houses. And I am, ex I used to sell rugs on eBay myself when I first started. But as you can see by the way, and I've had a lot of people uh, basically compliment me on it, is from the way that I do the videos, um, my demeanor, is very, as people have said, they say, well, Mike, you obviously talk in English, but when it comes to your personality, it seems to be very much your German. In. And um, I, I'm calling it as I see it. Be very careful when you buy pre-owned rugs. If it's uh, antique, if you're buying it from one of these popular um, auction houses, um, we have one or two uh, in Europe, that are basically dumping grounds for dealers where they, um, or like, for example, what is very common, um, estate people that, uh, there are businesses and individuals who literally 
clean out apartments and homes after someone has died. Um, in the United States, we call them estate sales. In Europe, I don't know, they're, they're called different things. But basically, so, uh, granny has passed away. Um, everyone has taken what they were inherited and all that stuff. Well, the other stuff, they will have co people coming in and they basically buy it up and then they resell it. And one of those places where it's easy to make some money is, well, on the web, in the auction houses, um, also social media. You'll be amazed of how many of these rugs, these types of rugs are being offered, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, you name it. Um, it you have to be mindful of it. So if somebody is offering you a very good rug at a great deal, the question then is, well, if the rug is worth as much as they are saying, but they're offering it to you at a fraction, then, okay, why would they have to sell it at such a low price? If it's an antique rug, or if there's anything special about a rug, there's typically paperwork, just like a painting, just like a piece of art. If you're buying something special, well, obviously you're going to have paperwork along with it. If you're just buying a carpet and someone tells you that it's 100 years old, you better know who you're dealing with because chances are you're going to be taken to the cleaners. So this is something I wanted you all to know. Um, as I always do with a lot of my videos, um, I have the links in the bottom, especially um, for those of you that have watched, um, if you like our channel and everything, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and all that. But most importantly, if you are someone who wants questions about a rug, um, I have absolute no problems. In fact, if you have watched my other videos, you have seen me featuring the Persian rugs or carpets, handmade carpets, sometimes even machine-made rugs of other people, viewers, subscribers. And I have no problems answering your questions. Below is a link to a video that I made in which I explain to you what type of pictures I need, what size, and all that. And then you can go to our website at mprugs.com. You can email me the information and then I can take a look at it. Now, if you own a rug and you want information, um, I give you my priority. I do my very best. And this is something that I do on the side. But um, if you are asking me for questions about a rug that you are thinking about buying, please note of the fact that I give my preference to the people that already own a rug. I'm not here to try to basically be a sales consultant for you. Um, that's not really what I want to do. I have no problems answering a quick questions. Um, and so I always tell my clients, I do my very best to get back to you as soon as I can. But as our channel keeps growing, and I do have my regular business to run and help my family and everything else and friends and family. There's only so much time that I have, but I do my best. So again, I hope this video is of help to you. Um, it's all about, I wanted you to see literally three rooks and show you how easy it is to fall um, to basically fall victim to some of the scams that are out there. And so, as I always tell people, if you are not too sure, I'd rather you not spend the money and keep it in your bank, give it to your children or to a good cause. When you buy something, you ought to enjoy it and you ought to be able to say, yes, I know this is legit. I know this is the real thing. And so... Um, this is one of the reasons why I make all the videos and everything. So, um, as I said, normally I get behind the videos, um, I get behind the camera and I show you all the close-ups, but this is not what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm going to put a few links below. And so I hope you enjoyed 
today's video. It was really just something I wanted to get off my chest. It has to do with the amount of bogus crap there is when it comes to uh, Persian rugs and some of the ways that some, sometimes people try to uh, pull a fast one over people. So um, I wish you and your family the very best. As I have always said, if you like our channel, please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be coming back to you soon with many more videos to come. So in the meantime, like I said, wish you the best and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.